All right, so last week, Tom Segura had on this TikToker that he's been talking about a lot recently during his podcast, who runs this coffee business, and she makes Day in the Life TikToks about it. But the majority of her comments are negative and people making fun of her. And she claims the first video she posted was just all negative comments. Like it started right from the beginning. So Tom started talking about this on his podcast because the whole thing is pretty funny, like reading some of these comments. And she handles it well, like she's a good sport about it. And if she responds, it's with something positive. Which, as people know, Tom is like the opposite of that, and he's not very good at responding to criticism. But I think he probably realized he could learn from her. Like, I'm pretty sure Tom first started talking about her on the podcast not too long after his airport meltdown. And then when he had her on the podcast, he said the way she handles criticism and mean comments is inspiring. So hopefully she's teaching Tom to actually have some humility. The people you engage with, you never, you never go into like a, like a, you angle right i always see you kind of go like almost like a positive spin on it and it's a it's actually very you know it's kind of inspiring it's it's a it's a nice thing to see smarter way of doing smart yeah i should say that it's much smarter thank you appreciate that i've i've never done that no no you don't i mean your wife's probably more fun to be honest no 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 i i tend to And then they go into how Tom's not very good at handling that stuff. So at least he has some self-awareness here. You know, I think he realizes the way he handles negative comments only makes things worse. But he actually does talk about the whole airport thing during this. And of course, he does try to play it off like, oh, I wasn't really mad. You know, I was sitting in first class drinking a Diet Coke. How could I be mad? That's the way he explains it. So I guess it's all just a big misunderstanding. People don't realize how happy I was during the airport tweets, though. <laughs> See, like, that's the thing. You're yeah, always happy was, off they, screen. They were like, tantrum. I'm like, tantrum? I was sitting in a first class seat sipping a Diet Coke, <laughs> just going like, la, 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 you know? <laughs> like, uh, there was no, like, <laughs> Sounds assault. like you were living your best life. I was having a good honest. time. To be honest. Everyone's other, worried about you. Everybody else was like, <laughs> is, are you Okay. <laughs> are you in jail and what's hilarious about this is christina said during all that a bunch of tom's friends were calling her to make sure tom's all right you know to check in on him because they thought he just went off the rails or something and even their producer mentions that their mom called them during that and was like man is everything going all right at work tom seems really mad recently <laughs> tom and i are they know, not, they know. <laughs> like <laughs> tom and i are not bright when yeah. it comes to confrontation i don't go what's the way. smart way out of this <laughs> no neither do i <laughs> full force right in there how much trouble can i cause yeah i just go <laughs> yeah how much trauma can i create with this moment <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then it goes on for days and um, it's just a whole thing yeah yeah people call me everything all right you know, yeah. Like, yeah friends reach out <laughs> you doing okay, is tom, man? no they reach out to me like is tom doing well i saw this thing and i'm like i don't know he's fine he's enjoying every minute of it yeah. so. my mom called me one time <laughs> really yeah she, he, she was like is everything okay at the studio because he seems like angry you know yeah Damn. what time, what time tom. was it chill, chill. what time was it uh, it was the, it was the airport was that? <laughs> That's what I got called for too. Yeah, yeah. the airport time. Yeah. So she avoid airports. Worried, yeah, airport. I got a lot of airport calls. Yeah, so I thought that was hilarious. You know, this did turn into a pretty big story, which Tom has to be embarrassed by. I mean, the fact that a bunch of his friends felt the need to call his wife to be like, man, is he doing all right? I saw he was going through it on Twitter. I mean, that sounds pretty embarrassing. And also, he did end up deleting all those tweets. And he kind of made this apology. Like, obviously, it's this half-joking apology because, you know, he's going to try to play it off like he's joking. He says, lesson learned, to forgive is the highest, most beautiful form of love. In return, you will receive untold peace and happiness. I want you to know I forgive the gay agent that behaved like a child in order to feel like a boss, and I hope the next passenger does too. Yeah, so I'd imagine he learned his lesson from this. You know, I doubt we see any tweets like that from him again. You know, like before that, it seemed like he wanted to get in arguments with people. You know, like he'd always respond to tweets and just get even more worked up. And also before that, he had the mentality like, I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to say whatever I want. I don't care if you guys like it or not. You're not going to be able to control what people talk about. People are going to talk about things that you don't have for the rest of your fucking life. But after his airport Twitter ran, that mentality definitely changed. Yeah. What, 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 what are you going to buy another? What kind of car you have? Which what? What kind? You have cars? Yeah. I How like many cars. cars you got? You all right? Yeah. Uh, uh, you don't want to tell me. 
Yeah, so I think Tom has probably learned his lesson through all this, but it sounds like he still has some resentment towards the bag check lady because I think he still feels like she was out of line and he starts bragging about how he knows all the bag regulations and he was citing them and the lady, I guess, just was out to get him or something and wanted him to check in his bag to ruin his day. They yeah, didn't know protected. that I was so I was so well aware of the of the of the um the regular standard and also of the aircraft. So I cited like aircraft things. Wow. And, oh, and then wow. I was like, you know, you I've, been, out. I was, I've been flying with the same bag for two and a half years. You fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> like and and then I <laughs> I just every time I flew with it after I was like, see, see how it fits. You think you can fit this thought in your dumb fucking head? <laughs> I got miles too. They gave me miles. Really? Ooh. Yeah, that's another thing wow. people don't know. A little life hack. Get some that's miles. Awesome. Yeah. I gotta start a war. Anyway, don't take my approach. <laughs> <laughs> you're, no, you're sweeter. Don't, don't do that. This works yeah. for me. But what works what I'm saying is like people like me need to see people like you and be like, oh wow, there's just another way. <laughs> and I think at this point Tom just needs to get the bag check lady on his podcast. Like that would be the perfect way to put an end to this whole saga, to hear her side of the story because Tom acts like she did it just to be a dick to him. Like if you remember in his original tweet, he said, she made me check in the bag so she feels the little power she has left in her life. And he called her an entitled, ego-driven old hag. So it sounds like he thinks she did this as a power move or to try to assert her dominance or something like that. You know, to be like, hey, you might be flying first class, but I can still tell you what to do here. Which maybe that's what the lady is like, or maybe she's just doing her job and somebody told her that they had to have people check in their bags because there wasn't enough room. I mean, I don't know. It could have gone either way. But I think if Tom wants to have people understand where he's coming from or win people over, then he should try to get her on the podcast. You know, if she really is a ego driven old hag, then if he has her on, people would be able to see that and be like, oh shit, I understand where he's coming from. You know, this lady is insufferable and she probably did that as an ego move. And I just think it would make for a good podcast either way. But let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comments. And then make sure you go check out my Patreon account. There's going to be a new video on there today about the most recent Protect Our Parks episode. There are a lot of good moments from that. And also I talk about Candace Owens' fallout with Ben Shapiro on the Daily Wire. And also how Andrew Santino is trying to control Bobby Lee and tell him what podcasts he can and can't do. So make sure you go check it out. I'll put a link in the description.